Any advice? We had great, we had great people too. You know, again, we rebuilt the military. We got all those tax cuts and regulation cuts. We had great people, but we had some people that I wouldn't have put in the place. Uh, guys like Bill Barr, because he didn't have courage, and I just, I wouldn't have put them. I wouldn't have put them in place. They missed a great opportunity. But we have all these people cold. We've caught all of these lies and all of this corruption, and something has to be done about it. But I know the strong ones and the weak ones. I know the great ones and the ones that will never be great. Uh, and again, you know, it's funny. I was in Washington, D.C., 17 times in my entire life. And most of it was building a hotel down the road from the White House. A beautiful hotel. Now, I sold it to Waldorf Astoria, but a beautiful hotel. And uh, — but I was only there 17 times, and I never slept over. So I wasn't into that whole world of Washington establishment. But I learned quickly. <laughs> I learned very quickly. And now I, I think I'm into it probably more than anybody else, and I know the people. Here's just some of the bold agenda I'll put into effect when we become the 47th President of the United States. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after I win the presidency, I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled, if it's not already settled, and I should get it done quickly. Can't let those people die. They asked me, did you see the town hall with CNN? They got one of the highest ratings they've had in like 11 years, and they end up firing the guy because it was Trump. <laughs> Instead, they should celebrate. We had our highest ratings. You're supposed to get paid for high ratings, Richard. But they had one of the highest ratings they've had in many, many years. I was on with a young woman who was, I said, nasty. She was a very nasty woman. But it worked out very well, and they were all going, he owns you, he owns you, get him off the air. They're screaming, AOC is screaming, he owns you, get him off the air, stop it, stop it. But you'd think if they had high ratings, that would be a big, uh, he should ask for an increase. Instead, they fired him because I was allowed to put across our point of view. It's our point of view. You know, we went into the, the womb of the enemy. And I thought, actually, the reason I did, I thought they'd probably be solid. I tell them, because there they are right there. But I tell them that they're doing so poorly in their ratings. If they went to the center, or even went a little bit right of center, and I thought they might be planning that. I think that's a good business strategy, because right now they're known as fake news. Can you imagine if this is on CNN right now? The one thing you know is they're going to turn it off. Oh, the light just went off the television. That just went off. The red light. I can see all those red lights. That light. Oh, well, sorry about that. I'll be finished about this in one, like, 20 seconds, and then you can turn the light back on. <laughs> but I thought they were going to be maybe a little bit more moderate and get their viewership up and really have a big evening and great. But as I was being introduced, they were saying things that were so bad. I said, this is going to be a war. But it was, and uh, look, it worked out well, but it didn't work out well for him. It should have, because he actually uh, did a good job in the sense it was very professionally done, very professional. Everything, the set, everything was beautiful, and they got tremendous numbers, and uh, they fired him. He's gone now. Mr. Licht, sorry about that. I'd like to apologize to Mr. Licht. But I'm the only candidate who can make this promise. I will prevent World War III. I will prevent it. Not going to happen. And we're much closer than you think right now to having it. And at some point, it will happen. It will happen. I will prevent it. I'm the only one that can say it. I know them all. I know how to deal with them. I deal with them. And I'm not saying I know how, but I will get it done. I will get it done. Did you see the other day Putin said they're the 